Basically what the Chrome Dome does is it adds a lot more efficiency. It's still diffuse and it still brings your light source up and far away from the lens to reduce red eye. And you might ask, well why don't I leave this on all the time? The reason why you don't leave it on all the time is because it's not as soft of a light as when you don't have it on at all. Uh, the time that you would want to use this is like say you're shooting group photos in a church or something like that and you want to have a, a little bit more power. Now when I'm talking about power I don't mean like it's you have to tone down any of the settings on your camera because remember all of these uh, accessories are designed to go to ETTL. The reason why I'm talking about power is more about efficiency of the light. Instead of the light going into the bowl, across the ceiling, and all the way around, this one gives you a little bit more focus. So you'll have, for example, if you're shooting a group shot, this will work at, say, 40 feet away at f5.6 at ISO 400, something like that. Whereas if you take this off, you might be at, like, 2.8 or, or 4. So this actually will gain you another, probably, stop of efficiency, which is great. Um, if you're shooting a wedding and you're doing a couple coming back from the aisle and you want to have kind of a distance and you want to have some efficiency, that's the time to use the chrome dome. So, in short, basically, most of the time you'll shoot with no dome because you want to use the ceiling to light up the background as much as you can. And in high ceiling situations, it's still fine because what happens is this bowl becomes the light source. Um, you'll use the dome whenever you have a low ceiling and you start to get the deep set shadows in the eyes. Like for example, if I had a hat on and I was taking a flash photo, the uh, shadow from the ceiling would actually cast a shadow across my face. So what happens with this dome is it becomes kind of like a reducer, which reduces the amount of energy to the ceiling. And you'll notice that it's also a half circle. So what happens is it reflects back down into the bowl and brightens the bowl. So it changes kind of the, the mix between the ceiling and the uh, subject. Also, it's designed so that if you aim it forward, it will not lose a lot of light energy because the flash is going directly into the bowl, but it's also spreading it out and making it softer. The key to the flash is to make it invisible, and by softening the light, you'll get a lot uh, more predictable and uh, uh, less contrasty results. So you won't blow out photos as often. And uh, like, for example, if a person is closer to you and there's another person more in the background, you'll get more exposure from both people Whereas with direct flash, one person will be like really brightly lit up and then the background will be completely dark. So.